Hello everybody. As 2021 ended, Yellowstone Season 4 gets ready to say goodbye to us as well. The show has alleviated a mediocre year at the last minute and enabled us to already remember 2021 more fondly than we would normally have. Even though there is an episode ahead, we can already deduce that Season 4 is one of the best seasons of Yellowstone so far. The season started with the resolving of a cliffhanger left by Season 3 and continues with multiple mysteries, twists, and turns that prove over and over again the complexities of the Duttons. Each character has its arc that we love to follow every single week, and we feel like the ending of the season will witness some remarkable incidents that will reshape the course of the series completely. Apart from its brilliance, this season also witnessed the expansion of the Yellowstone universe. Suddenly, we found ourselves watching the 19th century of Montana. We saw early Duttons hanging around in their land and coming across with the Native Americans, engaging in balanced but vulnerable diplomacy with their new neighbors. These scenes were an introduction to the new prequel of the series, of course, titled 1883. In addition to the traditional way of promoting a series, which is releasing a trailer that will provide glimpses of the show, Taylor Sheridan, the creator of the Yellowstone saga, decided to hint at the new series within the Yellowstone itself, which was just genius. In this way, Sheridan forced us to care about the Yellowstone spin-offs. Even those who have no interest in watching other series in the Yellowstone universe, but only want to witness the events in the original Yellowstone series are now exposed to the new series regardless of their will. Since the scenes that we had a glimpse of were extremely engaging and somehow had a connection to the model Dan Montana, it's now impossible to not get curious about 1883. In other words, Sheridan is a marketing genius and knows perfectly well how to attract the audience for his new projects. Of course, 1883 wasn't the only spin-off series of Sheridan that got the chance to be shown within Yellowstone. Another spin-off series, Four Sixes, is also revealed in Yellowstone throughout Season 4. However, the way we got to get to know Four Sixes was much different than how we got introduced to 1883. Our first interaction with Four Sixes started when Jimmy, who got massively injured in the Season 3 finale, is required to leave Yellowstone as a kind of punishment by John. John decided to expand the influence range of Yellowstone by making the ranch known throughout the country starting from Texas, the heart of the country life. For this purpose, he ordered a group of rodeos and cowboys to go to Texas and not only make Yellowstone known there but also learn how do they operate their business. Jimmy was included in this group as well since John wanted him to learn how to be a true cowboy. The news didn't particularly make Jimmy happy since he was happy in Yellowstone, had no courage to start over, and was also in a relationship with Mia. Regardless, John was determined to send him away and didn't change his mind. We witnessed the road trip Jimmy for a couple of episodes in Yellowstone, as he often got belittled for his ignorance over the country lifestyle. When he finally got to Four Sixes ranches, he didn't exactly welcome by the locals as people often found him naive and weak to survive in Texas. Everyone warned him about the difficulties of life in Texas and expressed clearly that life in Four Sixes will be much harsher than the one in Yellowstone. Left without any other chance, Jimmy had to commit to what he got himself into and started to work in Four Sixes. In every episode of Yellowstone Season 4, we had a glimpse of what he has been up to, how he gets used to life in Four Sixes, and how others perceive him as an outsider. Lastly, we also watched him meeting with a new girl who is extremely into him. In Episode 8 of Yellowstone Season 4, we saw the two going on a date in a scene that implied things are about to get better for Jimmy. According to the official premise of the series, the show will be about the merciless endeavor of Four Sixes. Bounded when Comanche is still ruled West Texas, no ranch in America is more steeped in the history of the West than the Four Sixes. Still operating as it did two centuries before, and encompassing an entire county, the Four Sixes is where the rule of law and the laws of nature merge in a place where the most dangerous thing one does is the next thing. The Four Sixes is synonymous with the merciless endeavor to raise the finest horses and livestock in the world, and ultimately where world-class cowboys are born and made, the premise says. Four Sixes Ranch is a real-life ranch in Texas. It's one of the biggest ranches in the world that was found back in the 19th century. The ranch is still active and has dozens of employees. Sheridan recently bought the ranch from its latest owner, who was the heir to the founder of the ranch. He made it clear that he will do his best to preserve the traditional structure of the ranch. That being said, he also decided to film everything that has been going on in the ranch with a series that has documentary-like features while being fiction in its actual plot. The leading actor, 
as we can deduce from Yellowstone Season 4, will be Jefferson White with his character Jimmy. Interestingly, Ryan Bingham, who is playing the part of Walker, is also expected to be starring in Four Sixes. This is interesting news because Walker had a weird arc throughout the Yellowstone Season 4 as he got into a never-ending fight with Lloyd. In the recent episodes, the two seem to have finally reconciled, but knowing that Walker has a place in Four Sixes, we can expect him to leave Yellowstone either way in the upcoming episodes. The show still has no official release date, but we expect it to premiere after Yellowstone Season 4 wraps up, meaning that we can look for the end of January 2022 for the Four Sixes release. It will be released on Paramount+. Plus. What do you think of Four Sixes? Are you excited about the series? Do you think it will be as successful as Yellowstone? Let us know what you think in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you at the next one.